In this demonstration, we will show you how Curtain eLocker protects CCTV surveillance system. Curtain eLocker is a data loss prevention software. In many companies, they have a problem about protecting their sensitive information. The problem is, when some users are allowed to access sensitive information, it is difficult to prevent those users to copy, send, or save this information out of the company. Some users have to access the information for daily operations, but from management point of view, they must prevent leakage of sensitive information. This is the problem. Curtain eLocker is decided to solve this problem. We provide additional control layer for administrator to define whether a user can save, send, print controlled data out. By default, user can work with the controlled data in allowed locations we call protected zone, but they cannot take it out of the zone without authorization. Here is an example about how the software protects share folders. Administrator can define which folders should be protected by curtain eLocker. When user access the protected share folders, they can only save the file in allowed locations. Administrator can create different control policy to control different users and user groups. Before demonstrate how we protect CETV system, please let me use Office document to show you some basic features of Curtain eLocker. Here is the kind program of eLocker. When user access the protected file, they need to use this kind program. In this demo environment, there are four network drives are protected by the software. As a user, I simply double-click a file to open it. You can see that there is a small red icon at the top right corner. It means this Excel file is controlled by the software. User can click the icon to see their permission. This policy means user can save the file in protected zone, but cannot save it to other locations, print, or even copy the content and paste it to other locations are prohibited. For example, when I try to save it to my desktop, desktop is not an allowed location. So when I click the save button, this action is blocked by the software and it prompts the user that this file is under security control. You can only save it to foreign location, which are the path of protected zone. If I save it to protected zone, for example, C, workings, it is OK. I can also make a copy of a protected file. Rename the file. And modify the file. User do this action every day. The software only block actions which cause data leakage. So the user can do copy and paste within the document. But if the user try to copy the content and paste it to other locations like Gmail,
you can see that the user cannot do it. Capture screen is also under control. Let me open Slapping Tool. You can see that the area of the protected document is gray. User can simply close or minimize the document. Then you can capture the screen normally. You can see that the software do not block copy and paste screen capture totally. User can use all these functions. They just cannot do it to control the data. OK, let us move to CCTV protection. In recent years, we extend e-locker protection to CCTV surveillance system. One of the major functions for CCTV is on-screen watermark. When authorized security staff use the CCTV system to watch live feed or payback, a layer of screen watermark with current login user information will be shown on screen. We cannot prevent users to take photo or video by their cell phone because they are authorized to access the CCTV system. But the watermark can effectively prevent them to share the picture or video with the public. Let me show you how it works. Here is our CCTV system for demonstration. When I open the system, You can see our icon at the top right corner. It means all the operations are under e-locker control. Also, you can see a layer of screen watermark which contains user-specific information, such as my computer name, login name, IP address, and daytime information. Administrator can change font, size, color, and transparency of the watermark. And this watermark can be only enabled to specific users or user group. Let me log into the system. In daily operation, security staff usually to output video for other team when there is incident happened. Now, many companies allow users to output CCTV footage to USB drive without any security control. With current eLocker, users can export CCTV footage, but they can only save the file to protect the zone. Now I'm trying to output a video to non-protected area. If I output this video to non-protected area, for example desktop, and then I click OK, OK. You can see that this action is blocked, and the software will prompt the user that, oh, this document is under control. I can only save it to allow the locations. Let me try to output the video to protect the song.
OK. OK. Now you can see the software will not prompt me. And the file is being output to the to the selected locations. Okay, the file is already successfully output to the controller zone. Let me go back to the C working folders. Here is the clip. User can review the, the clip. If I need to share this video to my colleagues, for example, I need to send this file to someone at headquarters. I must encrypt this file before I copy it out of the zone. Now, this file is out of the zone but it is encrypted. So it is safe even I lost the USB drive. This encrypted file can be only decrypted in my company PC with curtain e-locker installed. The encrypted file will be decrypted to the recipient protected zone. So both sender and recipient cannot leak the file to the public. The software protects the CTV system life cycle from real to footage distribution. This is the end of my presentation today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.